Are you someone that loves going to your favorite coffee shop but doesn't enjoy spending the ridiculous amounts of money that we are now paying for those yummy drinks? Well, today I have something really exciting for you because I'm going to be reviewing five different handheld frothers so that you can make those yummy drinks in the comfort of your own home for a fraction of the price. I'm gonna compare all the different specifications that these all have to offer, then we're gonna try them out, we're gonna froth some milk, and we're gonna see which one of them comes out on top. So let's get started. So here they are all laid out here and I've already done all the homework. Like I said, I wanted to make this as easy for everyone as possible so that you can make an informed decision when you're actually going to purchase one of these handheld frothers so that you know all the different options that they all have to offer. So I've, what I've done is I've actually got um, them kind of laid out here from the least expensive to the most expensive. And right now there are a few of them that are on Black Friday deals. So this first one here is this one, um, Power Link, or Power Licks. Um, this one is actually regularly $11.99, but it is on sale right now for $9.50. This one does require batteries. It comes with a stand. It comes in 25 different colors, and it also has a lifetime warranty, but it only has one speed. Next up, we have this one right here from Zule Kitchen. This one is regularly $19.99 and it is on uh, sale right now for $9.99. So these two are very comparable around the same price right now. Uh, also, you need batteries for this one. It comes with a stand, also has a lifetime guarantee, 80 plus colors to choose from, which is kind of fun. Um, and I'll show you here in a minute. I read a little note here that I really like the info cards that come inside the box. This one also has one speed. Next up, we have this one. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce this. This one right here, <laughs> I'm not gonna bother even trying. Now you'll notice that this one does come with some different attachments here, which is kind of cool. So this is regularly $23.99, it is on sale right now, Black Friday deal for just under 20 bucks. Um, this one is rechargeable, so no batteries. It has three different speeds, which is kind of interesting. Uh, it's the only one out of the five here that does. Uh, it comes with the three attachments, again, which is the only one out of the five that I'm going to be showing you here today that actually comes with multiple attachments, um, except for this one, and I will get into that one here in just a minute. There are quite a few multiple uh, color choices with this one as well, and you can do all kinds of different things with this one because it comes with this little whip attachment, so you can do eggs and whipped cream and all that kind of stuff. Not to say that you can't do those things with a regular whisk as well, um, um, frother, because uh, you can, um, but this one comes with this specifically so you can do that, which is I think is kind of cool. Um, this one didn't have any mention of any warranty. If you go into the website and stuff though, maybe, maybe they do, but um, it didn't actually say anything on the box. It didn't say anything on the information that came inside the box, so I'm not sure about that one for as far as warranty goes. Next up, we have My Street House. This one uh, didn't have any sale on for Black Friday that I could see. It is also rechargeable. So these two here are both rechargeable, don't require batteries. Um, it does come with a second um, whisk here that you can take off. I really like that option, being able to take the uh, little whisk off because that way storing is kind of, you know, takes up less space in a drawer if that's how you decide on storing it or if something comes bent, um, which I'm gonna show you here in a minute, <laughs> um, then at least you have another, you know, you can get a replacement part or whatever, you don't have to throw the whole thing in the garbage. Anyway, that's just a thought. Um, it also comes in a few different colors, not the variety like some of these other ones do, but it does have some really nice colors as well. It does come with a stand, it only has one speed, it does have a lifetime warranty, and the cool thing about this one, which I'll show you here in a minute, is it has a double whisk design and it is very, very fast and it froths really, really well. This one right here, this one is from Aero Latte. Uh, regularly, this is $29.99. Again, I didn't see any sale on this one. It does require batteries as well. It doesn't come with a stand and you'll notice my little note here. It came bent, and I'm gonna show you that in just a minute. You will notice too that the box was a little bit damaged, but the packaging in here was subpar for being at this price point, which is the highest of the five here that I have to show you today. Um, you know what, I thought that that kind of spoke volumes. <laughs> anyway, we'll have a closer look at that in a second. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open each one of these up so you can kind of see what they look like when they come in the box, and uh, then we'll get frothing. So first up, we have this one from Powerlix. This is the one that comes in all these different cool colors. There's a few like that have these little patterns as well. So I thought that was a really fun one. Um, so when you open it up, you got just some basic information here. Um, 
It comes nicely packaged in bubble wrap, so it came in perfect condition. And it does come with its little stand here. It's a nice little frother. This is what it looks like. It's nice. It's very light. Um, once I get the batteries in there, I'm sure that'll add a little bit of weight. Um, it doesn't have a very long uh, little wand here. It's pretty short, and uh, but anyhow, and the button is on the top. So that's what that one looks like. Nice little stand, and uh, yeah, voila, that's that one. Next up, we have the one from Zule Kitchen. This is the one that I thought was really cool with the information pamphlets that it came with it. These little cards here, I'm gonna show you these first, actually. So how cool is this? Not just a little pamphlet, you know, paper pamphlet, but these are like little cards that you could just easily put in your cupboard or in your drawer. Tells you what milk froths really well, at what temperatures, what types of milk. Um, yeah, I just thought that that was really helpful. And then again, got another little card here showing you how to put the batteries in. I just really liked it, how straightforward everything was and very well done, I thought. And again, this came nicely packaged with some bubble wrap. It even came, came with like these little rubber stoppers uh, around the stand here, so nothing got scratched or anything. That's a nice little touch. This also has the button on the top and has about the same, I would say, length uh, little stem here as the other one did as well. Very similar in design, actually, these two. Like, I would say, you know what? Oh my goodness, now that I have both of these together, look at that, they are exactly the same. Like, they feel the same, they look the same. These are the same, you guys. Oh my goodness, they just have different names on them. That's too funny, okay. All right, well, we learned something there, didn't we? <laughs> okay, so that's that one. And as far as prices go, these are right now on sale very similar. Um, that first one I showed you is $9.50 on sale right now, and this one that I just showed you is $9.99. But regularly, this last one that I showed you is $10 more than the first one. And they're exactly the same. Oh my goodness, that is too funny. Okay. Next up, we have this one that I'm not even going to bother or even trying to pronounce um, that comes with the three different attachments. Let's just see how this one comes. Oh, look at this. This is really nicely packaged. Like, this is probably the best packaging of them all. Um, but the manual, <laughs> this is the manual. It's just a little flimsy piece of paper. Very basic, although you know what, hand frothing is pretty basic. It doesn't really take a lot of instruction. But So this is how this one comes. I am really impressed with the way they have everything all wrapped. This is really nice. So this one regularly is $23.99, um, but on sale right now for $19.99. So for 20 bucks, I can tell right off the bat that this is nicer quality than this. It just, it feels nicer. For a little bit more money, you're definitely going to get something a little better. And I really like the fact that it's got the three different speeds here. So, and then you got your little charging port right here. And of course you've got the cord. We've got the removable little whisks. How cool is that? I have no idea what you'd use this one for. If you guys know, please let me know. <laughs> um, yeah, but I like that these are removable. So that is awesome. Okay, so that's that one. So next up, we have this one from Maestri House. And full disclosure, this one actually arrived first out of all of them. And so I have been playing around with this one already. It came fully charged um, and it does come with an extra whisk, which I thought was awesome. So while one is being cleaned, you still have the other one, you know, to be able to work with. And also if one of these becomes bent, um, then you have an extra, you have a spare, which I think is, is genius. Um, it comes also with the little charging cord in here and, um, yeah, uh, I just think that this is, this is really cool. And the neat thing about this one is actually it has double, double little coils here where all of the other ones are just single. So you can imagine that this thing is probably going to do a little better job. And you know what? I've been really impressed with this, just the little bit that I have been using it already. So it comes with this really nice stand, which I like this stand better already compared to this one because this is sharp. And I can see now why that came with these little plastic covers because you could definitely scratch your, uh, your frother with those little covers. They're really rough. Um, and the design of this one 
it's all rounded and smooth. You can just tell that the quality is here. You know, you spend a little bit more money and you definitely go up in quality, that's for sure. So that's the Maestri House one. Now the last one here, which is the most expensive, is this one from Aero Latte. Uh, this one's $29.99, so 30 bucks. Now, <laughs> this thing did not come very well packaged. I guess the, the, you know, the box was a little bit damaged when it came. Um, however, it's just flopping around here in the box. That's, that's how it came. There was no bubble wrap. There was nothing in here. And <laughs> that's what happens when there's no bubble wrap or nice packaging. Look at this. Um, yeah, not going to be doing a whole lot of frothing with this thing. And the beautiful thing about like Maestri House coming with an, you know, supplying me with an extra one of these like removable wands is that if, you know, something were to happen, I'm, you know, if it's bent, this is not going to work. You're not going to be able to froth anything, but at least with this, you've got an extra one. Uh, and I'm sure that Maestri House would be, you know, or a lot of these other companies because they have warranty, really good warranties. Um, they would replace it for you or give your money back. Um, I didn't see anything about any warranty with this one either. Um, I looked around, maybe if I went to the actual website, <clears throat> maybe I could get a little bit more information, but not impressed at all. And this one, has, you know, I have to put batteries in this thing too. So it's expensive. You have to put batteries in it. It comes really poorly packaged. And right off the bat, I would definitely not recommend this one. So <laughs> this one is a pass for me. So I guess we're really only going to be comparing four um, frothers, which is just fine. But um, yeah don't recommend this silly thing at all. So we're gonna start off with our frothing journey here with this one from Powerlix. Now I went to go put the batteries in here and right off the bat there were no straightforward information on how to put the batteries in. And just by looking at this compartment, it was not overly like a no brainer. So what I did was I actually uh, went to the instructions that came with the Zule one that is exactly the same frother, I'm sure of it. It has very clear instructions on how to put the batteries in like like a two-year-old could figure this out anyhow I just thought that was kind of interesting and then I also noticed that when I went to put the back back on like it's really flimsy I have a feeling that this is going to break really easily <laughs> I just I don't know I'm not a huge fan of that so now that we've got the batteries in there okay it isn't just a press button and have it keep going you actually have to hold this one so there we go and it's really noisy. Can you hear that? It's really noisy and it doesn't sound very healthy. <laughs> All right, so let's get some milk and we'll, uh, we'll try this out. Okay, so for the purposes of today's comparison, we are going to be using skim milk. Um, and actually skim milk works amazing, you guys. And especially if you're watching your waistline like I am, I'm always trying to you know reduce my calories wherever I can and my fat content. So. This is great because skim milk works so well and you can make some really low calorie, low fat, yummy drinks, like I say, in the comfort of your own home. It's crazy. So we are starting with basically the same amount of milk in all these glasses here for all four of our handheld frothers. All right, so let's see what the uh, Power Licks can do here. Like I mentioned before, you actually have to hold that button right down the whole time. So we've got our milk and I'm just gonna start frothing. And here we go. Yeah, it's, you know what? This thing actually works pretty well. I'm getting some pretty, pretty decent foam and some pretty decent froth here with this little guy. I'm actually impressed. For 10 bucks, look at this. We've got some really good foam. And of course, if you didn't want it this thick, I mean, you don't, not everybody's gonna want um, this kind of thickness for your froth milk. Um, but you can stop it at any time. But I just wanted to show you how much, <laughs> how thick you can actually get this with just skim milk. Crazy, hey? That actually works really well. The only thing I don't like is that you actually have to keep that button pushed in the whole time. Um, yeah, but other than that, that, that works pretty well. And cleaning is really, really easy with these little handheld frothers. All you do is just put it in some water and just turn it on and just let it do its thing. And that is it. And then you can just hang it back up on its little hanger and let it kind of drip dry, just like that. And it really doesn't take up a whole lot of space on your counter at all. So that is the first one. Not bad, I would say. All right, so next up we have the one from Zule that is 
the twin to this other one here, the Power Lex, I, I swear they're the exact same. The stand's exactly the same. They sound the same, they feel the same. Yeah. All right, let's see if they perform the same. This one almost seems like it might be spinning a little faster, but that could be my imagination. There we go, it's starting to thicken right up now. Although, did you hear that? As soon as it started to get thick, the battery is really struggling. These are brand new batteries. And that is not sounding very good at all. Yeah. Okay, well there you have it. <laughs> this one might be a dud, I'm not really sure. But like I said, that was a brand new batteries that I put in there and it's really struggling with, I mean, it did work, but um, here, I'm just gonna clean it. Oh, now it seems to be working a little better. Okay, let's try it again. Let's put it back into this thick foam. Yeah, it doesn't like that. Okay, well, that's good to know. This one isn't gonna let you really do a lot of thick stuff. Look at that, it sounds horrible. It just slows right down. Isn't that interesting? Okay, and then as soon as you put it in the water, it, it's fine. All right, so it just doesn't have the power. And it's not nothing to do with the batteries because as soon as you clean it and get it out of the foam, it's fine. So <laughs> that's an interesting uh, little tidbit on that one. Okay. All right, so yeah, I'm not sure about that one. Let's go to the next one. All right, so next up we have the one that I can't pronounce <laughs> that comes with all the cool little attachments. Again, I have no idea what this one's for, but this one I think will come in handy for beating up eggs or whipped cream or whatever. So let's see how well this one works. And this was really easy. Like I said, I love these detachable ones because if something gets bent, um, you know, you've got other options, which there you go, goes in there nice and easy. And you'll notice that the wand for this one, like the length of this little stem here, is a lot longer. Like I'd say it's a good, I don't know, inch, inch and a half longer than the other two that I showed you to begin with. So I kind of like that idea too, that it does have, you know, it just gives you a little bit more options as, as far as container goes, because these little short ones are only gonna, you know, you can only do go so far into the container. All right, so this one does come with multiple settings here. So we've got your low, and I love that it comes charged. That's nice so that you don't have to do that the first time. And a medium, and it's super quiet. It feels like an electric toothbrush. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, this is nice. I really like, I really like the feel of this. I can tell that it's, you, the quality is there. You know what, you go up a little bit more money and you can just feel the difference in your hand even. All right, so to turn this one on, we're just gonna get it into our milk here and we'll see, we'll start, I think I'm gonna start with the low setting and we'll just see how it goes. Oh, wow. Even the low, that's low and it's uh, frothing just as fast as, oh my goodness, look at that. It's already thickening up. I'm just gonna put it on the next setting. Wow, that's impressive. That works really, really well on a low. Holy cow. Yeah, look at that. We've got some stiff peaks here. This is skim milk, you guys. Holy cow, who knew? I tell you, this is a great way to make some really fancy desserts as well. If you had pudding or pancakes or waffles, you could de definitely top this right onto your waffles and your pancakes. You could put a little bit of artificial sweetener in here if you wanted or whatever, um, however you wanted to sweeten it. And you've got like thick whipped topping. How awesome is that? This little gadget worked really, really well. I'm impressed with that one. And we're just gonna clean it off here. Yeah, this one's got some power. Definitely has some good power. So the only thing I don't like about this one is after you clean it, you have to just lay it on the counter because it doesn't have a stand. That's one of the drawbacks to this one that I don't like right off the bat, but um, everything else is there. I love the fact that it's got options here as far as your speed settings. That is really cool. And it also tells you here for your battery life. I think um, the light will probably go on or red. I'll have to look more in the instructions, but it does have like a battery life thing here. Um, so I think that's kind of cool. Anyhow, I really like this one. This one is nice. So the last one I'm gonna show you is the one from Maestri House. 
Again, this has a nice long wand on it as well, about the same length, um, I'd say, as the one from this brand here that I can't pronounce. Um, and like I said, it did come with an extra one of these little wands, which is great. It came charged as well, um, but it does only have the one speed. Um, so that is one thing a little bit different from the one that I just showed you. So let's go ahead and just give this one a try. And I wanna show you, oh, and the other difference to this one, remember I was telling you this has a double whisk. All the other ones only have a single whisk. You're gonna see here in a minute <laughs> how well this double whisk design works. So let's turn it on. Look at the power of this thing. It is thickening already, look at this. And it's gonna overflow, I can tell that right now. Probably gonna overflow. This little handheld frother, <laughs> look at this, is a beast. It, like, oh my gosh. This thing works almost too well, especially if you're doing stuff like this and you want it really thick. But I mean, if you want it thinner and you don't want as much froth, obviously you just turn it off sooner. But let me tell you that this thing, like I said, is a beast. This thing works so, so incredibly well. Um, yeah, can't say enough about this one. I think it must have something to do with the design of the double whisk. And it has, you can tell that it has a probably a little bigger motor. Um, it is unbelievable. This thing works so, so well. Love it. And cleanup is really easy. I also love that you don't have to hold the button. You just turn it on and off with the button there. And with the stand, you can just put that right on your counter. It doesn't take up a whole lot of space um, or real estate on your counter. And it actually looks really nice too. Actually, both of these look quite nice. However, like I said, this one doesn't have a stand. That is my only beef with this one, really, is that it doesn't come with a stand. All right, so let's go over some of the pros and cons of these frothers, and we'll come out with, hopefully, a surefire winner. Okay, so here's an overview of the four different frothers that we just tried out. And in my mind, there is a definite winner, um, but there's a very close second. Um, and I'm gonna go over why I feel that way. So if you recall, this. These two here at the end are very similar. I think they are basically the exact same frother. Very similar prices, around the $10 mark. Um, they froth, I'm gonna tell you, they de definitely froth. I don't like the fact that you have to put batteries in these. Um, and this one crapped out halfway. <laughs> Once it got thick, it could just kind of stop working. So you know what? I think you get what you pay for. Um, like I said, I really am not a fan about the, having to put batteries in here as well. They definitely froth milk. And if you're somebody that really isn't gonna be using this very often, and it's just gonna be sitting in your drawer or on your counter or whatever, um, and like I said, you're just not a huge, you know, an avid kind of coffee drinker or whatever, then I guess this would, this would work. I mean, you could get away with that. So by just simply going up another $10 or so, you are definitely going to get a way better quality frother for sure. Um, you can just tell the difference in quality by putting them in your hand. <laughs> like they're just, there's just, they're beefier, they're sturdier, they're nicer. Um, the motor runs a lot smoother and faster. Um, yeah, they're just, they're just better all around. So I don't know why you would want something that just didn't work that great. I would definitely spend the extra 10 bucks. In my mind, it's worthwhile. But out of these two, I think that there's a definite winner in my mind, uh, and that would be the Maestri House. I think it edges edges this other one a little bit for a couple of reasons. One is that um, it has a holder, where this one does not. Um, it comes with extra attachments, but I don't even know what you'd use that other one for. But I do love that they're both rechargeable. Um, like I said, I don't know about the uh, warranty on this one because it didn't really clearly mention that. Whereas I know Maestri House definitely stands behind their products and they um, definitely have a full, you know, full lifetime warranty. They will definitely make it right for you if you're not happy in any way, shape or form. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I just, this thing is just a beast. Like I said, it whips like I've never seen. <laughs> I, I don't I don't know it's crazy you can whip whipped cream you could do like I said skim milk whips up just like whipped cream it's crazy um, with this double whisk technology and the power of this motor is unbelievable so in my mind for $22.99 and this thing isn't even on sale and I don't know if they do have sales from time to time you might want to kind of just keep an eye on that um, maybe with Christmas coming up they might um, but this one is right now $19.99 and I don't think you would be you know 
a remiss but going with this one i think you would be totally happy like i said it kind of is cool that it comes with these whisks i only wish my street houses um frother had different speeds because this one it just it works almost too well i would like it to have a lower speed then it would be absolutely perfect but i still think this one is the winner for me so i'm sure you guys are all interested in seeing how um you know these kind of work as far as making a drink goes and i'm going to show you one that i'm really really enjoying right now so let's do this so i am a huge lover of eggnog and this time of year i just love me a delicious eggnog latte but i don't love paying the price for one at you know my local coffee shops so i'm going to show you how quick and easy this is to make them at home all you need is a little bit of espresso. I just brewed myself a little shot of espresso here in my favorite coffee mug. And then I heated up a little bit of the eggnog here in a mug, in a nice tall mug. Uh, probably about 30 seconds in the microwave. And then I'm going to take my lovely little handheld frother here from Maestri House. I love this thing, but you saw how well this thing works. So I'm definitely not going to need to froth for very long because I don't want it to be super thick. I want it to just kind of form some nice layers in there and just be a light froth. So this will literally take just a couple of seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get this going. And that is probably all, maybe a little bit more. Like I said, I don't want it to be too thick. There, that's probably all I really wanna do. <laughs> I've got some nice froth milk here. And I love that, you know, you don't have to, you know, put it down on the counter. You can just put it right in the little holder. I'll clean that after. And then I'm going to just pour this right into my coffee. Look at that. Oh my goodness. And I don't need to sweeten this because the eggnog is already sweet enough. And then I'm going to just give it a little sprinkle of some cinnamon here on top. And you got yourself a very yummy, homemade, inexpensive eggnog latte. So I hope you found this video informative, especially if you are thinking about purchasing a handheld frother for yourself or maybe someone else. There are definitely some deals to be had right now and with Christmas coming, this would make an amazing little addition to maybe a gift basket, throw in some you know, fixings for some lattes, coffees, teas, uh, some cinnamon, cocoa, you name it. Oh my gosh, you could put together a really, really nice basket uh, and like, you know, have that little frother be the centerpiece for sure. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Happy frothing. And until next time, cheers. Mm. That is good.